team like say Montpellier Montpellier okay if you run this you see it's it's another simple theme it's actually another simple blue based theme and if you see and the sections are divided like these sections and subsections are divided like these okay and uh, these are some differences and if you and um, based on your convenience your uh, d d d uh, interest you can choose any one of them the default theme looks like this which is again the bare, bare minimum essential theme okay and if you want you can try other themes like Hanover Hanover just to give you guys a feel Hanover is something similar to Gardingen, Gardingen theme except that uh, it's kind of similar to that but there are sh some differences for instance like the number the, num the number bullet over here it's slightly different when compared to that you can just have a look and you can just experiment on okay you can experiment on and then now next thing what we'll uh, what we'll do is that uh, let me refer revert this to default okay there are like there are so many themes like this you can just pick which we can just experiment with these themes and pick whichever you like okay whichever you like let me set this to normal and then there are a few color themes as well for instance uh, there are the color themes are named after birds or flowers or animals based on based on what i understood okay uh, okay based on what i understood for instance, if I were to, there is a color theme called as Beaver. If I run this, this is actually a red color theme. And usually, if you, usually, uh, Cambridge US and Beaver go hand in hand. If you use a Cambridge US theme, the color theme, the color theme will be Beaver. Usually, usually. and uh, if you use Ann Arbor, Ann Arbor, the color theme that will go along with it will be Wolverine. So if you want to try if you want to look how the wolverine theme looks like color color theme check it out you see you see the difference now this is how a wolverine theme looks like and uh, if you were to uh, check Ann Arbor it will also be the same you can just check it out as per your choice and uh, some you uh, have other themes like whale uh, it kind of looks it kind of sorry it kind of looks it will look a little different it kind of looks a little different you can just check it out based on your choice and usually the themes go themes and colors go hand in hand if you were to uh, the thing is each of these themes have a default color setting so if you choose and if you choose a, a camera US, it will go along with beaver I mean camera US by default has beaver color theme Ann Arbor will ha will have some Wol Wolverine like that some all of these pa color themes all of these themes will have some color package on them by default so you can just mix and match and you have other all the combinations possible for, for so for instance uh, for Cambridge US uh, and Vale check it out you see the difference the theme is Cambridge US but after mixing Vale uh, the banner stuff and everything are a little different and if you see the color pattern they kind of conflict here and it's white so it's a little conflicting so the thing is you just when you choose themes and colors properly make sure that they're contrasting enough so that nothing comes nothing, nothing troubles up so when I use beaver now with Cambridge US they're fine because they're essentially the quintessentially the same thing now you can choose any of your title you want okay i'm just going to stick with i'm just going to comment these out and uh, <coughs> stick with the basics as of now <coughs> basic as of now <coughs> you can work with any of you can work with <coughs> any of these i'm sorry my throat is a little sore sorry and you can work with any of these now with these the theme packages are over <coughs> the basic theme packages that are over now let's look at some Inter now let's look at some uh, content content writing as i mentioned earlier whatever content you have don't worry about it just write them between begin frame and end frame and that's it and if you want to give a title to the frames just type frame just type after the begin frame just type give 
open a, open a brackets open brackets and then type uh, the title uh, type uh, frame uh, frame title okay sometimes you may have a command called as backslash frame title wherein you can write the title name over there itself but in general it, this is much easier whichever you prefer and that's and this way uh, you have the options to write you, you have the options to write everything like if you want to write paragraphs mostly people won't write paragraphs in uh, so sections i'm sorry in uh, uh, presentation so leave that if you want to write bullets it's possible just just uh, follow this within the frame just type enumerate or itemize and then write your bullets and if you want to write picture if you want to print pictures it's possible just just use begin uh, picture begin figure and then put them if you want to write tables put them as it is if you want to put equations or code snippets everything it's all possible it's up it's all of them are possible you can just go on with it not a problem but the only condition is uh, enclose everything uh, enclose everything within begin and end frame and that's uh, that's the mandatory thing and with that you can just write as many slides as you want that doesn't matter and now the next important thing is and the most the most important thing and the most emphasizing part of the thing is of of beam up or presentation is how to make animations now i'm going to show you guys three different ways of making animations now for that before i go about with that let me just uh, let me just you know common these up so how oh, what's the option over here i haven't worked with these before um ah uh, yeah comment so let me just cut uh, let me just cut this short okay okay there is this first option called as animation now to to make the first animation what you do is that whenever you have contents in your document just put backslash pause and that's it and then what happens is that uh, all the contents before pause will be printed and then the slide pauses and in the and in the next uh, con next slide and in the next slide whatever kind of that are written after the pass command and before the next pass command they get they get printed along with along with the previous contents for instance if i wrote first and then I put a pass all the contents of this frame before the first pass for this pass will be printed okay and in the next slide or uh, next slide over here all the contents in this frame before this pass will be printed okay and in the third in the next slide in the third slide in the third slide uh, all the contents of this frame before this pass will be printed and so on and so forth you can just make this slide now this way uh, if you were to look at the presentation which we made over here okay first second third fourth like that see now this is how the presentation goes by this is how the this is the bare minimal animation you get okay this is one bare minimal uh, animation and now what you can do is that uh, you have a you have a second animation option which uh, which i'll explain to you guys in uh, explain to you guys now so how do I do that? This should be uncommented. Where is that comment? Yeah, control U. Okay. Now if I were to run this. Okay, there is this option called as only only and uh, on slide. Now what is this only command does is that it just makes sure that the content alone, this that particular content alone is present in the slide. And then this number option just tells you in which order it should go on with it. The number options are enclosed within tags, enclosed within tags like the greater than and less than symbols, less than and greater than symbols like these. Okay, and the numbering tells you in which order they are supposed to be. So for instance, so for instance when I say backslash only and then I write one and then write first, first alone will be in the first slide. Okay, and now afterwards I write only. And within two and then write second what happens is that this this content second alone will be in the second slide will be in the second slide and then afterwards when you write on slide three uh, within uh, three it's what it does is that it just writes uh, on the entire slide it just writes three alone three al it just writes three alone okay and then similarly 
uh, if I write on slide 4 and 4th, you just write 4 alone. But 